It's time for late night comedy and music. It's an evening at the improv with tonight's host, William Shatner. Good to see you. See you. I gotta get myself a car. Oh, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my very great pleasure to welcome our co-host for the evening, Mr. William Shatner. Thank you, Brian. Thank you. Well, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Big crowd here. Good evening and welcome to an evening at the Improv. Tonight we'll be seeing some fantastic comedians and I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it. There's a theory, you know, that a good actor can read the telephone directory and make it interesting. Akil Good and Olivier and Orson Welles, they can simply read names from the telephone book and have you fascinated. And by the same token, a good comedian can read the telephone directory and make it funny. Now, <laughs> I've had some training in comedy. My career just hasn't been Shakespeare and TV drama, you know. I'm uh, playing uh, T.J. Hooker on ABC. <laughs> and... Um, traveling in a spaceship saying desperately, beam me down, Scotty. No. I have also had an extensive background in comedy. Let's see if those, <laughs> if those years of training have paid off. Let's telephone directly, right? Okay. Page 692. Sharfman Stephen. <laughs> Sneed Daniel. Sneed Wanda. Sokolov Sam. <laughs> Spiro Romana. Spock Arnold. <laughs> Spock Mister. <laughs> Spock Mrs. Spock Miz, Spock Doctor, Spotless Cleaners, Springer Milton, Springer Miriam, Springer Myron, Springer Tyrone, Sputnik Eugene, Stagger Rodney, Stompanetta Willie, Stover Daisy, Strauss Dewey, Strauss Huey, Strauss Louie, Stucky Run. Studio City Bicycle Repair. <laughs> Studio City Lumber. Studio City Talcum Powder Company. Young Rufus Theodora P. Thank you, comedy fans. You've shown great taste. I haven't. We'll be right back. How'd you like to boldly go where no man's ever gone before? Oh, my gosh. It sounds so exciting. What did you have in mind? <laughs> no, really. I, I am really such a big Trekkie fan. Yes, I'm such a fan. How yeah. can anybody as 
good looking as intelligent you as intelligent as you'll be at Trek. I, well, I, I, I am, you know, and I have this great idea for yeah. Star Trek Three. Okay, you guys are about to get beamed down to a planet, but yeah. the transporter throws a rod or something, and you guys throws all a get rod? yeah, oh. you get beamed down, but your body parts are all mixed oh, up, you, you know? <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah, like you have Spock ears and breasts, you know? I have. And, yeah. Spock here from press. Yeah. I'm walking around with female body parts. Yeah, it's called oh, Star on. Trek Vesta. Oh god. <laughs> Star Trek Transvestite? Yeah. That doesn't go with the virile macho image that I I try yeah. to project. You know, I mean I'm a real macho guy. I, I That's probably true. Yeah, I'm I'm sure mean, it is. Uh, I have to go back in there now. Okay. Is my makeup all right? Well your nose is a little shiny. You're kidding. No, right here. Shiny on the moon? Right here. Right there on the moon? Yeah. Hold on a second, just a second. Just a minute. Uh, yeah, you got it. Is that you, better? That's much is, better. Is that better now? Yeah, you got it. All right. Thank you very much. Okay. Bye. Have fun. Oh, pleasure seeing you. Yeah. Thank you. Something wrong with the sound right, right. system. Oh, there it is. Thank you. <laughs> Sandy. Yes. Years ago, we did an improv. And I had... Uh, Toronto. In Toronto. And I had such a good time. With you. No, I'm not in the room. Oh, please. Nah, I'm no, no, come on, Sandy, come on. I don't want to emperor. I don't want to but beg you, money Sandy. Once? I don't want to beg you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I told you I would beg you. All right, you, you're... The, the, the big emperor, thing I... that Sandy Barron was known for was an improv. Okay, now the truth is, it's weird. Whatever's going to go down, is going to go down, right? I'm a little nervous. If it's funny, you will laugh, deal? If it's not, you will laugh, deal? <laughs> okay, so call out... Call out a character, whatever you want. Somebody tell me what to be. No, I don't mean like a cartoon. A person, a kind of... No, I don't mean like Rodney. I don't mean an impression. A kind of person. Not an impression. A tourist? Okay, I'm a tourist. I'm a tourist. Okay, where, where am I touring? China. I'm a tourist in China. I'm a tourist in China. And what is... Young Mr. Shatner. He's what, the guide? He's the guide. You're the guide in China. I'm a, I'm a tourist. I'm a Chinese guy. You're a Chinese guy. I'm a tourist. <laughs> All right, you're, you're a Chinese guy. What the hell are you talking about, little buddy? Are you saying temple? I mean, are you saying that we'd ask the temple? Because I know about temple. That's like a church where I come from, am I right? Mosiah, Mosiah. Now is that a temple? Mosiah, my. Hold it. <laughs> hold it, hold it now. Mose, Mose, Mozu, Mozi. Mosiah. Most people just associate you with Star Trek. Well, not, not me, not me. You know, you're not a Trekkie. Absolutely, a Trekkie. Mean, Star Trek means absolutely nothing to that's me. That's incredible. Nothing. That's really a very now, unusual Star, thing. Star Trek means nothing to me. I am interested in your serious career, Bill. I'm interested in the whole body of William Shatner's career as an actor. Putting me in. No, I, and I know it. I know the whole career. It's right here on the tip of my tongue. Oh come on. The whole thing. No, no. Hey, hey, just give me a shot. Yeah, okay. All right, try. Um, uh, Shatner, Shatner, uh, born in Montreal, a child star Canadian television star for Shakespeare Festival. He makes the big move to New York. Okay, classy theater, Playhouse 90, then smash it on Broadway with the world of Susie Wong. He's a hot young leading man. He's a pretty face, but he's more than a pretty face. That's he's fantastic. a serious actor. He's intelligent. He's always growing. Then films, films, okay? Very classy roles. Uh, no beach ball movies. Oh, Brothers, Karamazov, Judgment Nuremberg, The Outrage, based on Rashomon, The Intruder, then TV in Hollywood. TV in Hollywood is a, it's a very classy series. The Barbary Coast for the people. Real relationships, fine acting. And now he does it again. Bam, it's TJ Hooker. It's a very classy series. He's not just an ordinary cop. Not just yeah. an ordinary cop. He's a cop with sensitivities. He's a cop who can have a neighbor. Incredible. Just smash I, it. I, then I hold on. No, no, no. Things are really rolling for Shatner. No, he's really on top of the world. And then he does it again. He really does it. He puts yeah. the marriage. Cherry on a chocolate sunny of his career right here tonight by hosting Evie at the Improv. Peter, Peter you're fantastic. Oh, oh, oh. That's incredible. Oh, you're thanks, wonderful. Thanks. I'll see you later. Take it easy, eh? Star Trek. I've just been hugged by Captain James T. Kirk of the Starship Enterprise. 
<laughs> I'd like to tell you, I'd like to tell you why I did this show. Besides, of course, the $50 bond that Bud gave me. I think a lot of these comedians are like diamonds in the rough. And I think when you find a young talent who has a point of view and is amusing, they should be nurtured and encouraged. I love comedy, I love to laugh, and I love people who made me laugh, and they've done that tonight. Thank you very much, and good night.